Special delivery. Hey, Dad. Hey, Zelda. How's it going? What, what do we have here? Uh, another box? What's inside? I don't know. Want to open it? Yeah. Thanks. Let's see. This says it's from Fun Again Games. Sounds like another Kickstarter delivery to me. What, what if it's not? <laughs> then I'll be very surprised. It's not a game. I know what it is. Open that. That's why the box is smaller than I was expecting. Oh, this is hard to open. Do you need some help? Very hard to open. Uh oh. Every, packing peanuts. Everybody's favorite thing. Packing peanuts. Cat's favorite things for sure. Yes. And Zelda. Alright, what's in there? What do we got? Packing peanuts. What is this? Is it this is Iron Clay's luxury game counters. Shall peanuts. We? Shall we open it up? <laughs> Never eat foam Shall peanuts. we open the box in the box? Sure. The box in the box. The box in the box. The box in the box. And the chicken box box. Alright. Let's see what's inside. Looks like it's a... Ta-da! Nice little ribbon. So, what we have here are Roxley's lovely iron clays that they did for brass birmingham so this is a bigger this is a larger set can still be used for brass birmingham of course but also just a generic counters for any other games let's see what we got so here's our stack of 20s let's have a pretty nice feel Ooh. yeah those feel pretty good they're like a yeah. The 20s might feel better than these, though. Yeah, they look really cool. They feel they really feel, nice. Yeah. Like nice and smooth. And then he comes in this nice little chip tray that you can just keep them in. Yeah, and just stack them up, and then they'll stay straight, though, even without this plastic. Right, you want to open one? I'll open this blue one right here. The fives. Other side. Mm -hmm. Right, so here I we've got our tens and one hundreds. <laughs> and a whole bunch of ones. Not quite as exciting today, but it is a box. And everyone loves boxes. Channel. No, it's not. <laughs> it's an everything channel. It's an everything channel. <laughs> Just like my YouTube channel. What can we away? You can type that on YouTube. You find my YouTube channel. Well, it's actually Zelda Productions. Did our director just uh, go running behind? Zelly Belly Productions. <laughs> Zelly Belly Productions. That's our director back there, Tempestage. My sister. And I'm Zelda. I was in a Wolf Adventure... Uh oh! I, Careful I with those, please. They boxing video in Godspeed, which you might see later. She's been in most of the videos, except for one so far. Yeah, I've been most of the videos. Um, my sister Tempest. Um, she's been in one, the Wolf Adventure one. You can find that one. So we got these nice fives too. Yeah. How many fives do we have, Zelda? <laughs> One, two, okay, well, just because of that, I will be keeping this video whether I plan to or not. 9, 10, okay. 11, 12, 14, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Well, what do you think, Zelda? Since that was not the game like we were expecting, should we open another box? Yes, we shall. Or should we stop this nonsense? should open another box. 
Tempest! Looks like I have one right here. Hand me the box, please. We got another Very good. package today from the delivery guy. Indeed, our delivery man has been a little uh, extra, putting in a little extra work this week. Here we have a package from Stonemeyer Games. I can tell you what it's not. It's not Wingspan. But that's okay, because this is Wingspan. Exactly. It's like an expansion where it has like new Well, pieces. or if you just wanted to try to sell it at a super high price on eBay because people are paying ridiculously too much money for it these days because they're impatient and can't wait for another print run. All right, should we open this? Do you want to do the honors or do you want me to? First, you use the blade. Okay. I'll do the honors. <laughs> you the honors. My, my queen. So this, I actually, it's one of two things, and I'm not sure which. Bubble wrap, everybody's favorite thing. Indeed. Especially mine, I like to pop it. Yeah, but this isn't quite pop. as much fun to pop. The little bubble wrap. I, Come on, get it. Come on, what do we got in there? It's a big bubble wrap. You get Let's see it, let's see it. With the, oh, let's have you again. Just like Godspeed. Just do that. Mm. All right. So yes, this Thank is you. nothing terribly Thank new or exciting. In fact, I'm getting married today. So here we have <laughs> Between Two Cities and its expansion, which I've kind of been trying to get now for since BGG uh, since BGG in the fall. Um, where I had a chance to play this and realized this is the perfect family game. You might have been to BGG. But it's been out of stock for a long time, and just like with Wingspan, I wasn't going to pay $80 for a $30 game. Uh, but Stonemaier recently got a new print run in, so I ordered a couple of copies. Or a, not a couple, a copy along with the expansion. And that's it. There we have it. So, it's a, not a new game by any means. Um, in fact, uh, for a lot of people, it's probably been replaced by Between Two Castles. But, for what I am going for is a family game. I think this is the better fit. And it's still a lot of fun. Why do I say it's the better fit, some of you might be saying? Well, the fact, if you've never played Between Two Cities, it's a three to five player, or three to seven player game, sorry. Um, but you are always working with both of your neighbors, so you have to discuss strategies. And so it makes it seems like a great opportunity to teach your whoa, kids whoa, whoa, whoa. about some game theory and decision making. Yes. Um, because as you, because basically in between two cities, you're always constructing two cities: one with your neighbor on your right, and one with your neighbor on your left. And then at the end of the game, you are going to score both of your cities that you participated in but your score is the lower of the two scores, and then whoever has the highest score wins. But it's just that fact that you get to... Scoreboard! You're working with both your neighbors, you're both communicating, you know, you're communicating to talk about which tile you should put where to maximize your points. It means you have, you, you, you're incentivized, and it's not breaking the game to have these discussions about strategy, which seems like a great way to help a six and 10 year old learn some game theory and game strategy and become even better gamers than they already are. That is why I've been try I've been wanting this game for uh, six months now. Um, and why I'm glad it has finally arrived. So, there you go. We're not going to bore you with an entire punch in, uh, unboxing or punch into the whole thing, but as you can see, there's not really that much to punch. It's basically just your big city tiles. Um, your, yeah. You got your single and your double, your double space city tiles this and video a few cards. This might not be the most exciting. And that's about it. That's this right. Channel. There's probably there's better um videos in this channel that are way more funny. True. Way more exciting. They can't all be winners, but stay tuned tomorrow. I think tomorrow we have something a little more exciting coming. Maybe. So be sure to check that one out. Maybe it's a wild tiger. That would be cool, but. I am not Joe Exotic, so I'm pretty sure it's not a tiger. Yoda, I, but if you could um, give somebody a tiger, what price would it be? 
Um, what price would I would if I was selling someone a tiger or if I was buying a tiger? G giving someone. Giving someone a tiger. Like selling someone. It. I think I would make it one hundred times one hundred dollars. So two hundred dollars. That's not very much money for an endangered animal. You should not even be able to sell tigers, but that's a whole other issue. I think we should do 100 plus 100, 100, 100s. Okay, 100, 100, 100, 100s. Well, that is a whole different thing. That would be 10,000. That's a more reasonable price, I think, for a tiger. Yes. Because then, <laughs> then after that, ah! Exactly. Are we done here, Zelda? Can we say goodbye? Goodbye, Zelda. Goodbye. Adios, amigos.